What's up guys? Welcome to Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen and today we're gonna be talking about function rules. What's a function rule? Good question. A function rule is basically a rule that shows you how an input turned into an output. How did it happen? Well, we're gonna find out. Over here I have a function table and I see that whenever I put in a zero, I get zero. Whenever I put in a one, I get two. Whenever I put in a two, I get four. Whenever I put in a three, I get six. What is the pattern here? Hmm. Pause the video, think about it, do it yourself. Let's get to it. I see that every time I put in an input, I always double it. I always multiply it by two. For x, I can say that when I put in x, I will get 2x. So my function rule is gonna be y equals to 2x. Let's do another example. If I have zero, I'm gonna get four. If I have one, I'm gonna get seven. If I have two, I'm gonna get 10. If I have three, I'm gonna get 13. Pause the video, see if you know what the function rule is. See how the input here became the output here. Go ahead. All right, let's get to it. If you take a look at this function table right here, oh, I see a pattern. Every single time I go down, I'm adding by three. I add three here, four plus three equals to seven, seven plus three equals to 10, and 10 plus three equals to 13. Hmm, so my function rule is probably gonna look something like this. Three times the number x, but wait, I need to add or subtract one more number. To find that out, I can take a look at the zero right here and the number next to zero, ah, I see four. So then I'm gonna add that four right here. Let's check if our answer works. Three x plus four, hmm. If I put in zero in here, three times zero, that's zero, plus four, boom, you get four. If I plug in one, three times one is three, plus another four, boom, you get seven. If you plug in two right here, three times two, that's six. Six plus four, boom, that's 10. Three times three is nine, nine plus four, 13. Hey, you know what? Our function rule works. So what I'm gonna write in the end is y equals to three x plus four. Let's do another example. For this function table right here, if I put in a one, I'm gonna get a 10. If I put in a two, I'm gonna get 12. If I put three, I'm gonna get 14. Pause the video, see if you guys can figure out what the function rule is. Go ahead. All right, so as you can see here, we have 10, 12, and 14, and we see another pattern. All right, every time you go down, you add by two. You go down one more time, you add by another two again. Because of that, you know that our function rule is gonna be two times the input plus another number. Ooh, there's something missing in this function table right here. It's missing that zero. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna put in a zero. This number right here, I have to add two to it, and then that's gonna give me 10. So if I work backwards, 10 minus two, that's gonna be eight. And since I know that the initial number right here, that number next to zero, it's eight, I can put plus eight right here. Let's check our answer. If I plug in zero right here, two times zero, that's zero, plus another eight, hey, that's eight. If I plug in one, one times two, that's two, plus another eight, that's 10. Two times two, that's four, plus another eight, that's 12. Plug in three, two times three is six, plus eight, <gasps> we get 14. Our function rule works. So what we're gonna write as our function rule is y equals to two x plus Eight. So to wrap things up, a function rule is basically a rule that shows you how an input turned into an output right here. I'm Mr. Chen, thanks for watching Glassboard Learning, and I'll see you guys next time.